Here we have three different pinnately compound leaves, all of which belong to trees that are commonly referred to as ashes. However, they are not all true ashes. Across the temperate world, ash trees, or members of the genus Fraxinus, are some of the most important and commonly encountered trees, from Japan and East Asia, to Europe, to the Americas. And because ash trees are so important, and because they are readily identified by their pinnately compound leaf, often other trees that also have a pinnately compound leaf are erroneously called ashes, even though they are not remotely related to the Fraxinus genus. On the left, we have white ash, Fraxinus americana. This is a true ash in the genus Fraxinus and in the family, the Oleaceae, or olive family. However, in my other hand, I have two leaves that belong to different genera in different families that are also commonly called ashes. This leaf on the left, with its coarse serrations and pinnately compound leaves, we have American mountain ash, or Sorbus americana, of the Rosaceae, the rose family. And here, we have American prickly ash, Xanthoxylum americanum, of the Rutaceae, aptly named for the pairs of spines that you find along the rachis, or the central axis of the pinnately compound leaf. While it may be useful for remembering the similarities between similar looking trees to call them all ashes, it is erroneous taxonomically, because these three trees are not at all related, and they get this feature, this pinnately compound leaf, from convergent evolution, from completely unique evolutionary paths. They do not derive this characteristic from a shared ancestor. Now this example is doubly confusing because in addition to erroneously sharing a common name, all three of these species in Latin share the same specific epithet. They all share either Americana or Americanum. We have Fraxinus Americana, we have Sorbus Americana, and we have Xanthoxylum Americanum. Don't let all this confuse you. Today's discussion focuses on nomenclature and taxonomy. This is not meant to be an identification video. Each of these trees deserves their own video. Hopefully now you understand a bit more of why different trees that are unrelated get named the same thing.